Ah, pulse motor build off. What is Russ going to build? Well, I plan on building something with a rodent coil and uh, using recycled magnet wire. And that's kind of my goal. That's what I plan on doing. So briefly, I'm going to show you my collection of magnet wire. This is my magnet wire cabinet. It's kind of dark down in some of these spots. But I have collected quite a bit of different type of magnet wire. And uh, all sorts of kind of different stuff in here. This is my recycled magnet wire shelf. And I've got more tucked away in places. But this is most of the stuff that I can look in and see what I got in there. Um, I'm also going to be 3D printing the Abha Taurus that I'll be using. And I'm currently printing off a black upright. Ooh, isn't that pretty? See how close we can get before it zooms out. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I plan on uh, using this 3D printer. This is what it's going to start out looking like. And this is actually going to be... I'm printing these off for the conference, but one of these is going to be for... The winner. Ooh. Um, I'm making black now, and they look fantastic. Uh, so yeah, let's go on a road trip, but that's my plan. I plan on just using all this junk I got laying around here and building something cool. And there's also a little surprise that I'm not going to tell you about. It involves me and Tin Man. The end. Alright, let's go for a drive and see what we can find out there. Ooh, what's up everybody? Pulse Motor Build-Off, 2013. Use of resources. It's currently heavy trash day in my area. So we're going to go for a little drive. I have my tool bag and the tools that I think are going to be helpful. So we're going to go try to find some junk. I already know where a TV was because I drove past it. And it's one of the old style. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to get stuff out of it. But there's always a good amount of magnet wire in that thing. So let's go see what we can let's see what we can find. I also saw some stuff down here I want to go drive by. Bad thing is is this uh, TV that I spotted was on a main road and uh, basically I have to pull into somebody's driveway and hopefully they don't come out or have to leave. Junk. See, this is the kind of junk we get. Trash. I'm actually a day late. So the stuff I'm looking at has actually already been picked through. But, occasionally people will throw stuff out really late. And that is never uh, <clears throat> collected by the scrappers. I don't know why they don't come out early. I guess they've driven around enough the day before. So, we're going to see what we can find. I'm going to go with this TV and hopefully film it. So we'll see you shortly. Ah! Oh. <clears throat> There's not much stuff out this year. <clears throat> Here's this TV. It's going to be hard to get to. But hopefully nobody comes out here. We're going to try to do this quickly with the camera. This will be fun. Oh, I should have got my bits ready. I'm not sure what kind I need, so I'll bring them all. Hopefully nobody comes out. We'll find out shortly. Alright, this is what we got. Oh, my, my camera's all whacked out here. There we go. How's that for a view? I'll start off on this street. 
Excellent. One thing a good scrapper does is never throws their screws on the ground. Bad boys and girls. Don't be doing that. That's it boys and girls, pulse motor build off magnet wire. Oh, that's got a good, a good amount of stuff in it. Watch out for them big caps, they'll bite you. I got enough flybacks, I'll leave that one. Alright, and that's how you do it, off to the next one. Yeah. What do you think guys? Oh, not even worth stopping. Uh. See? This was yesterday's. Somebody already beat me to it. Drats. This is always this is always the race in the morning. These trash guys. Gotta beat them. Gotta beat them. <clears throat> Gotta beat the trash guys. They're starting down this end. We'll go down on the other end. Ah. Uh, two more victims. But I'm not gonna stop. Not for those two. Not this time. Yeah, check out this thing. That's interesting. Your phone rings and you're out. We answer. Mr. Mc... Mr. Kraken's office. Yeah, check that out. That's pretty darn cool, actually. Looks like a street sign or something. Looks like a nice hunk of steel, that's for sure. That's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, welcome back to the fan and light world. Ta-da! So, I just got done with the first Heavy Trash Day experiment. I went the day after Heavy Trash Day, and uh, that was kind of a bad idea. But this is for the pulse motor build-off. I'm going to be using some of this. If I can find the end of it here, um, I'll show you what we got. This is pretty heavy. This stuff definitely takes a while to get cleaned up. This is definitely from that big old TV. It's heavy. It feels like copper. But I've seen aluminum. This stuff's going to be fun to get off my hands. Ooh. Did you hear that in the background? Can't see what I'm doing. Uh, ugh. These are sticky. I usually just dunk this whole thing in a solvent bath. And uh, wait until all the tape erodes away. But I want to show you what we got here. Some big wire. Oh yeah, it feels like copper. Where is the start? Hmm. It's got to be right here. I would get out my knife and cut it, but my my hands are so sticky right now from this old stuff. There we go. Yeah. Beauty. Look at that. That's enough to build a, two very nice coils. I got two of these. 
Can you see it with that light in the background? Yeah. See how big that is compared to my thumb. That's a lot of wire. And it is copper. It looks like, uh, I don't know. Let's see if it's soldered. Yeah, it's soldered. If it's aluminum, it wouldn't be soldered. It's crimped. But it's soldered, so that means it's copper. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but it's pretty heavy, pretty stiff. So two of those, not bad. I'm going to throw one on the ground because they are very sticky. This electrical tape stuff is terrible to get off your hands. But unwrap this, dunk it in some solvent, and uh, it'll clean that up real nice. So there you go. Woohoo! I'm going to throw that on the ground. Man, that is a, that's a sticky one. Ew.